Yesterday ends in a bull channel into the close, but within the context of a trading range. Every trend on your trading time frame is within some kind of trading range on a higher time frame, but when you see a trend within a trading range on your trading time frame, it's important to look for reversals until there is a strong breakout with follow through and a good breakout test. Today on the 30 minute chart, after the bull breakout from three days ago, the market has stalled and entered an extended trading range. The longer a trading range extends, the greater the probability of a breakout to either side and the less probability there is for the breakout to be in the same direction as the trend that preceded it. Today's context for the open, the market is opening within the trading range going into yesterday's close, so it's reasonable to look for longs near the bottom and shorts near the top of that range until a strong breakout occurs. Today is part 7 of a series where I outline a plan on how to pass a top step 100k account using a simple, or perhaps not as simple as I imagine, trading system. The first step is to mark levels at the end of each trading day. Please see my video on pre-market prep in the pinned comment if you have not. I have also marked the pre-market high and low, which are 5,146.50 and 5,120.50, respectively. The market often tests one of the pre-market levels during the day. The only other relevant level is 5,089.50, which is the top of the trading range that the bulls broke out of three days ago. Yesterday's high, low, and close are also marked on the trading time frame below from an indicator. Since yesterday was also a trading range, its high and low are relevant levels until significantly breached. Of course, I also dynamically track the high and low of the day throughout the trading session as well. Bar 12 is a big bear bar, but since it does not close below the current low of the day, bar 1, you cannot short below it since you'd be going short near the bottom of a trading range, which is an area where you should instead be looking for a long. Bar 14 is a decent signal bar long and a double bottom with the low of the day up to that point. There isn't room to annotate the trade, but it netted roughly 5 points. If bar 19 closed below the low of the day, bar 13, low at that point, I would have shorted below it. It did not, and although shorting below it would have been a great swing trade, this is a level by level strict scalping system, not a swing trading system like my other videos. Bar 21 is a good signal bar short from the low of yesterday. Since the move up to it was a bear breakout, we also place a scale-in limit order one tick above it and put our stop loss a measured move up. Sometimes it can be difficult to determine exactly how to draw a bear channel. Don't worry about it. If the market is making lower highs and lower lows, the market is in a bear channel. Since our rules prevent us from going long in a bear channel until the bear channel line is broken, we avoid taking any of the long signal bars in the bear trend that would have resulted only in losses. We end today with two points of net profit, putting us at roughly $2,500 out of the $6,000 profit target. This strict scalping system can be difficult to follow, especially if you have seen all my other videos up to this point that show how to identify and trade great intraday swings. After this series, I will create a series on how to evolve this scalping system further and also combine it with my previous intraday swing system so that you can trade fluidly with the market. However, it is important to show this system in isolation first because it truly is a high win rate system that is great for newer traders who need a structure for setups so they can learn to watch the market move without them, an important skill to develop. Today ends in a sell climax, a big bear bar on the daily chart, but tomorrow has two major news reports including FOMC, so there will likely be high volatility tomorrow. 
Levels for tomorrow include 5,141.50, which is also the high of today. 5,114.50, 5,096.75, and 5,056.75, which is the double bottom from three days ago and also roughly the low of today.